What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about a question I got from one of my subscribers around carrying a polymer 80% gun per se. Um, what that is, is uh, some people call them a P80, some people call them a 80%, uh, some people call them a, a polymer 80%, uh, but essentially what it is, is the gun is manufactured to 80%. And then under ATF classifications, it's not technically a gun because they haven't passed the 80% mark. Uh, so your, your lowers uh, is really where the gun comes in to play. So you can actually purchase um, AR lowers that are only built to 80%. You can purchase, uh, I think I've mainly seen them with uh, Glocks. So essentially what we're talking about is the gun is clear. So what we're talking about here is right here on the Glock, right up under here, you have a serial number. All right, and then this lower here, so let's just go ahead and make this simple for people that aren't savvy with it. So technically, this part right here is what is considered the gun. This is where your trigger mechanism is, which will fire the gun. Without this, this is just a hunk of metal that all you're going to be able to do is just sit there and beat people over the head with. I know we've all watched the movies where people pop it off and stab people in the throat, but whatever. Uh, this is just a, a hunk of metal. That's all this is. Hunk of metal. You can go 100% with this. It's just a hunk of metal. Now, I will say Glock will have their serial number on the slide that matches the frame, but ultimately, this right here is what's considered the gun. So you can buy a lower like this that is only 80% complete. Once it goes past that 80%, it is now considered a gun. 80% or less is not considered a gun. And by law, under the ATF statutes and all that stuff, you can buy a unserialized 80% lower. Okay, so there's no serial number on it. It's only 80% complete. You have to buy it and then complete it yourself to the 100% mark. And you can still leave it unserialized, but you cannot sell it. It is only done for personal use. So if you're not wanting a serialized gun, but you want to do your own thing, you can go out and buy a 80% lower finish it out and then buy the slide and all the parts for it and everything and finish it out however you want to. So that is what the Polymer 80, P80, 80%, everybody calls it its own little thing out there. That is what that means. So no, it is not serialized, but it is legal for you to purchase it, finish it for personal use. Now, if you finish it and you start selling them, you are a piece of shit and you are the biggest problem in the gun world there is. All right, we have enough problems that it is with all these gun grabbers trying to confiscate and buy back and all that. So don't be a piece of shit and go out and buy these things, fix them up, unserialized, and start selling them. All right, that is against the law. You can't purchase it, you can't fix it up for personal use. And the question was, can I carry that gun? So I spoke to a lawyer here in South Carolina that deals, um, that knows a lot of the gun laws and deals um, with gun cases and things like that. Uh, from his point of view, he said, yes, you can carry it, but you are going to draw a lot of unwanted attention if you're ever stopped by law enforcement, because in the state of South Carolina, if you're stopped or approached by law enforcement, they identify themselves as a law enforcement officer, you have to let them know you're a concealed weapon permit holder and you're carrying a gun. And a lot of times they're going to separate you from the gun for everybody's safety. Now, I don't agree with that. We can all sit here and 
talk about the Second Amendment and this and that. I'm not going to get down into that rabbit hole, okay? So I'm just going to say I'm not a fan of that, but they're the police. They have mace. They have tasers. They have batons, and they have guns, and they're writing the report at the end of the day. Just be cool with them. They're going to be cool with you, okay? But from the lawyer's standpoint, he does not recommend that you carry a polymer 80% gun once you've completed it just because it does not have a serial number on it. Uh, his recommendation, if you're going to buy one and complete it, go ahead and put a serial number on it if you're going to be carrying it. So then I also talked to a few cops that I know. Um, some of them were a little confused about what I was talking about when I said a polymer 80 and all that stuff. So some of your cops aren't even going to know what the heck you're talking about when you're trying to explain this to them or why it's an unserialized gun and you're carrying it. Uh, you're just going to... You're going to end up hemmed up, you end up questioned, hell, you might even end up in handcuffs, they might have supervisors come out, you know, it's, it's just going to be a lot of unwanted, unnecessary attention and time taken away from your day if you ever happen to be approached by law enforcement, all right? Now, that's not saying that you cannot carry it. So, I, and this, was, this is only for South Carolina. I only looked this up for South Carolina. I don't know how other states are. But for South Carolina, you cannot knowingly buy, sell, transport, pawn, receive, or possess any stolen handgun or one from which the original serial number has been removed or obliterated. So, again, that's not saying you can't go buy a Polymer 80, fix it the way you want it, complete it, and carry it. But if you put a serial number on it, you can't go and take it off, all right? Because that is against the law. Once it has a serial number on it, it's got to stay there. So if you're going to do it, don't put a serial number on it. But from talking to cops and lawyers, and from what I've been reading from SLED, just don't, don't carry it on you. Don't carry it in your vehicle. So if you're ever stopped by law enforcement, they pull it out, they see you've got an unserialized gun, it's just going to be, oh my God, excuse me, I'm so sorry, folks. It's just going to be a, a, a huge headache that you don't need, all right? Again, I'm not saying, they are not saying that you cannot carry it, you can carry it, but it's, you're going to draw a lot of questions unless you run across that one cop that knows exactly what it is and what you've done and how all that works, because a lot of them aren't going to know. The ones I talk to... I talked to four different ones. Only one of them knew exactly what I was talking about. So he, but he even said that it wouldn't, he wouldn't recommend carrying it for personal protection. But again, that's up to you. That's whatever chance, you know, you're willing to take. Uh, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. They're not recommending it. But again, it is up to you. So please just be careful with, if you are going to do it. Um, I would try to, maybe have some paperwork uh, with you showing where you bought it, um, and things like that, have maybe pictures on your phone. I don't really know what else, you know, to tell you to keep to prove, you know, kind of what it is, but without that serial number being on there, it's gonna draw a lot of questions and a lot of un unwanted attention. And I mean, there, there are cops out here that are against people carrying guns. Now there's, for this area, there are very, very few of them. Uh, for other areas, please go check with local law enforcement, check with lawyers if you know lawyers, if you're a member of, you know, U.S. Law Shield. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm sorry. Check with them for, you know, your state specifically. I only checked into South Carolina. So for South Carolina, it is not illegal, but it's just going to draw a lot of unwanted attention. So if you're wanting to get a Polymer 80, finish it off, fix it up the way you want it and carry it, so be it. Just understand if you're pulled over or you're approached by law enforcement and you let them know and they see it doesn't have a serial number, just be ready for a lot of questions. And don't be surprised if you don't end up in handcuffs till they get done with their little investigation. They might even search your car because if you're carrying an unserialized gun, there's no telling what they're going to think. So just be prepared for that if you are going to do it. I uh, hope this helps out. 
Uh, thank you, Petey. I hope I said your name correctly uh, for the question. I think it was a really, really great question and a really great idea for a video. So I hope this helps you out. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, for everybody else, all my subscribers and stuff, thank you all for subscribing. Please continue to comment, send questions, text, email, uh, put them in some of these video descriptions or video comments if you've got ideas for different videos and I'll be glad to get those out there to you. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live.